The finite difference method for solving differential equations requires splitting a domain a, b into n intervals with a constant step size. The method finds solutions for the n data points by replacing the derivatives with the respective centered finite difference formulas, then solving a linear system of equations. Now let's try finding the exact answer of the BVP we described last time. That's u double prime plus u prime plus u equals 1 with the boundary conditions u of 0 equal to 1.5 and u of 3 equal to 2.5 and we'll grab 6 intervals. So first we need to determine our step size. We want to find the solution between a equals 0 and b equals 3. If we recall from a previous tutorial, the formula for the step size is b minus a over n. So we have n equal to 6 intervals, and h, which is equal to b minus a over n, which is 3 minus 0 over n. Now we need to construct the vector containing our values of x, which range from 0 to 3 depending on our step size. We can use the table function to do this. So xs equals table of i times h, where i goes from 0 to n. Then we can create our table of the dependent variable u using the simple function we learned previously. So we'll call this the table of u's, and we'll use the symbol function with u joined with the strings of i. And i will go from 0 to n. We'll output the table of u's just so we can see what it looks like. Now the length of the vector is 7, and we know what u0 and u6 is. So that means our unknown u's are from 2 to 6. u0, which is u's of 1, is equal to 1.5, and u6, which is n plus 1, is equal to 2.5. Shift enter. And so now let's think about what we have. We have a list of our u's and a list of our x's. We only know two of the u's, so the rest we need to find using a linear system of equations. We have n minus 1 unknowns, meaning we need n minus 1 equations. We can create the list of unknowns by grabbing the u's from 2 to n. So our table of unknowns will be u's going from 2 to n. Next, we need to substitute the derivatives in our differential equation with the respective centered finite difference formulas, and we can use the table function to create a vector containing all of our n-1 equations. So we'll create our equations using the table function, and if we recall, the second derivative of the centered finite difference formula would be us of i plus 1 minus 2 us of i plus us of i minus 1, all divided by h squared. And the centered finite difference formula for the first derivative is us of i plus 1 minus us of i minus 1. and that's divided by 2h. And finally, just us of i, since all we have is u of x. And that's all set equal to 1. Then i will start from u1, which is us of 2, and goes all the way to us of n, which is u5. And now we can use the solve function to solve our system of equations. We'll call our answers the solutions, Using the solve function, we'll use the numeric function to make sure that our answer is in decimal form as well. And we're solving the list of equations with respect to the unknowns. And we'll put our solution straight into matrix form.
Shift enter. And here are the solutions for U1 all the way to U5. Now let's add U0 and U6 to our list of solutions, but we also need to get rid of the rules by evaluating them. So we'll call this N solution, which will be equal to the U's evaluated at the solutions of 1. And this is just to get rid of the extra vector around it as well. Shift enter. And we can also plot our points over the exact solution we obtained in the previous video in order to compare them. So we'll plot u, which we got from the last video, with x going from 0 to 3. And then the epilogue with a point size large. So our point will come from the transpose of x's comma n solution. And we'll adjust the plot range just so we can see all the data points. We'll take x from negative 0.1 to 3.1 and y from 0 to 10. Now shift enter. And just as in previous numerical methods, we can improve the accuracy of our numerical solution by increasing n, which decreases the step size h. In the next video, we'll take a look at analyzing the error of our approximation depending on the ends.